All right, guys, it looks like we are live, hopefully, and uh, thanks for joining in on this afternoon stream here. Now, again, the lighting's kind of weird like right now. I don't know if I should turn on the main light over here and just leave my backlight on over here. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Again, I am just uh, testing out the majority RS Pro live here. So this is a new microphone that they sent me uh, a couple, uh, about a week ago. And I'm testing it out here live on the channel. So hopefully you guys can check out the content. Hopefully it looks okay. See if I can uh, test this out over here on uh, or share the link on Twitter. I don't think I'm going to be streaming that long. But let's see. Content. Hopefully it looks okay. Sounds pretty good. Doesn't sound too bad on my end. Doesn't sound too echoey either. So go ahead and smash the like button. And again, I'll go ahead and share this. Uh, I'm not sure. I might consider taking this microphone home or I might consider doing a giveaway on this microphone just because it's a pretty decently high qu high end quality microphone. Uh, the only thing about this one is though, again, it's USB instead of, uh, you know, it does not have that those uh, specific connectors that you can connect to uh, audio boards, which are the, uh, forget what, I forget what they're called, but anyways, um, don't expect, I don't expect anyone to be here live on the actual live stream uh, today, just because people are hating. Looks like I'm the only one watching right now. People are not hating, just that I don't have a lot of viewers in general. So I'm just kidding about that. But if you guys are here, don't forget to smash the like button and don't forget to um, say hi. Let me know how the audio is sounding. Again, maybe I should turn on the back light and then turn on this other way. Let's go ahead and try that out just cause, just cause let's, let's go ahead and unplug this one. <laughs> See if that's any better. Hopefully that's a lot better. Let me know if you guys are seeing anything or, or let me know if I, if I sound okay for you guys, please go ahead and give me the feedback there. Again, this is the RS pro by majority audio. And again, they are, a company a, actually based out of uh, Great Britain, actually, or the United Kingdom, whatever you want to. Should I move this? No, I'm going to end up disconnecting it over here. Uh, hold on. There. I was like, let me move. It's because the way I have this set up is my setup right now is not ideal. I need to really kind of deep dive and fix my desk and just do an overhaul on my desk right now. I'm going to probably... Uh, do that eventually. So right now, I guess I'm just going to hold on. To, there we go. That's that's where I wanted the mic to move. And again, I do have its pot filter on just so you guys can kind of see there. Uh, again, right now I am I am at my office, so uh, we are live streaming live in La Oficina. Can go. Let, let me go ahead and exit out here. Mostly it is Monday. Mostly everyone is at work. Uh, so let me just kind of get I get a quick update on uh, what's going on with my channel. So first of all, I have not been putting out a lot of. Uh, content recently as far as like phones or you know things like that just in general just because uh, obviously the money has not been there um to me to be making those purchases right now and, and i haven't been getting as any uh, you know haven't been getting any messages as far as you know you know sellers or whatever from from major you know phone companies wanting to send me any devices currently right now so i'm hoping that tcl will send out their 20 series phones once those become available uh currently i think the one phone that i am looking at right now is the one plus um the one plus n100 which is not a 5g phone but it is a very inexpensive uh android device that i've been wanting to kind of look at there i really want to kind of test the cameras and whatnot on 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 those specific devices you know, I, I really need to just fix the rest of the wall here. I really like my office, but the thing is like the lighting, it looks so washed out. So let's see if I can, there you go. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what is going on. I feel like sometimes the lighting looks a little bit washed out or at least to me it does. Hold on. There you go. Um, there you go. Hopefully it focuses on me. That's a little bit better. I don't think see even if i just move it just a little bit it looks kind of grainy it would, I, at least the webcam is more, more focused on me now so anyways um again i don't know who's gonna watch this but anyway so right now currently you know there is no really ongoing projects with what i'm go doing right now um and I, I do have my other microphone set up right here by the way so i'm actually kind of want to compare let's see let's 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 move this one over and i'm actually going to switch microphones just so you guys can Kind of tell the difference here this one is actually a condenser microphone that i have connected to an audio board 
I don't know if that one sounds a little bit better than the majority audio microphone, but I'm going to go ahead and do a, a test and hopefully the, the replay crew who watches this later on will get to see this. Uh, let me go ahead and change the microphone over here just so that we can kind of get a comparison. And again, I don't, I don't know how this is sounding currently because I don't have headphones plugged in, so I'm not listening to my current audio. Um, let me go ahead and switch the audio microphone here and then we'll get that going, but let's go ahead and change it to USB audio codec over here and let me know if you guys can hear that. So, okay, I did go ahead and change that. So let me know if you guys can hear the difference. If there is a difference, I don't know if uh, my condenser microphone, which is this one. And again, I'm maybe about five to six inches away from it. Uh, sounds better than the majority microphone. Again, this one has XLR inputs in the back. So this actually does not run off any type of power or anything like that. The power is coming directly from the soundboard that I have it connected to. And um, again, I just really wanted to kind of test this out, let you guys uh, kind of hear the comparison. Again, majority audio, which is a USB condenser microphone. And then this is a regular, uh, this one's called the newer NW700, uh, which I've actually owned this microphone for years already. I actually ended up uh, buying this off eBay probably like five or six years ago. I think back in 2015 when I wanted to do, when I wanted to do more podcasting, um, not, not in my, uh, not at my, uh, radio, uh, station that I was doing podcasting at. Right. So I decided to get my own setup so that I can do more, uh, live streams at home or, you know, from to my convenience. Right. So I actually had like a little bit of a mobile setup where I was actually taking this to a friend's house, this microphone right here, setting things up at his place and then doing live streams over there, which back then live streaming was, it was not difficult, but it was not as easy as it was today. I tell you that much. Uh, but again, guys, don't forget to smash the like button if you guys are just joining in. Say hello. Again, uh, this is Mike from VTech Reviews here. I am testing out the, the microphone that I usually use, which is the newer um, NW700. And again, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the uh, majority RS Pro over here just so you guys can kind of hear the difference here. So let me know if that is uh, doing anything for you guys over here. Let's go ahead and change it back here. Okay. So right now we are change. We did change back to the majority audio um, microphone over here. So let me know again if you guys can hear the difference. If there's any difference in tones here, uh, my room, uh, the studio is a little bit echoey at times because of the. Um, it's just you know, very the ceiling is a little high. That's why. So that's why uh, that's what's happening there. But I don't know. Did I share this on Twitter? Yes, I did. And I guess everyone's just busy this, this afternoon. And just so you guys know, I do have about 205 followers on Twitter now. So I want to give um, a few shout outs here to Tomo's Tech, who just recently followed, and uh, Xena Microphone, which I probably think that's an Amazon seller that probably wants to get me to review their microphones. Southern Boy, uh, uh, which that's just how their handle, Southern Boy, Saturday morning, sit down. Uh, and again, Apple monster. And of course there's David H AKA feature David. Those were my last, um, followers PA tech. So I think that I believe that's Paul tech, uh, AJ Manette. And of course, Tito, who I believe, you know, he might have made another Twitter account. I'm not hundred percent sure, but thanks again for uh, joining in here today or at least watching the playback here. So, so again, uh, really not expecting people to come in. I've already been live streaming for about a good, what, eight minutes here and literally no one has come in to chat or anything like that. So a little, a little bit upsetting, but that's all right. It is the afternoon. I don't really have that kind of following where my, most of my followers will be on at nighttime. So, so I can't really bash my, I, I can't really bash too far, but the channel finally did uh, reach over 12,000 subs again, which YouTube actually, when I had hit a thousand or 12,000 subscribers, I was getting close to, to 12,100 at one point. And then YouTube just randomly deleted about a hundred uh, followers. So or 200 followers. So I actually had dropped down back to like 11,800 at one point. And it took me about a good month to regain that those 200 subscribers. So again, I'm, I'm averaging about 150 to 200 new subs a month. Not too crazy. It's not hasn't been like one of those, uh, you know, there's a lot like the algorithm has been going crazy on me. Hold on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's see. I'm trying to, again, get it to not be so washed out, I guess. Um, Maybe it's the belt. Maybe it's just me. But anyways, um, for those of you who watch this a little later on, again, don't worry about that. But anyways, um, again, I am uh, hopefully have a few projects coming up on, on the BTEC channel. Of course, if you guys follow me on my other 
uh, channels like uh, Crypto Tech. I do have 10 subscribers now, so I'm super, I'm super proud of uh, having uh, 10 subscribers on that channel. I never, I mean, half of them were probably from me. Uh, but for those of you who guys are following uh, cryptocurrency and financing, you know, I do want to continue to make more videos on that. Toyota Tech, actually, uh, my other automotive YouTube channel actually reached a milestone of 45 subscribers. So I'm actually getting up there to 50 subs already. So I'm actually kind of proud of that, that, you know, I'm getting close to those 50 subs over here, um, which, you know, I'm, once you hit that first 100 subscriber mark, you know, you feel a little bit good because, you know, that means that your channel is kind of trending upwards. And, I, you know, I do have a few videos on there that I already have a couple thousand views. So hoping that, you know, people decide to follow that specific channel. Um, as well as crypto tech again, crypto tech, I will have to put out a few more videos, hopefully this coming week, uh, this channel again, I will hopefully get a, a new one, a phone, a new phone unboxing going soon. You know, it has been kind of slow for me. Uh, the month of February and March actually have been probably some of my slowest months. So, uh, engagement has gone down as far as the amount of viewers. Again, I don't know if it's just the algorithm or, you know, it's spring now, spring break, technically hope everyone's you know, going out of town with their families or celebrating that. Uh, so, you know, I can't, again, I can't knock on uh, people for not watching the channel consistently. You're right. But again, for those of you who follow my channel and who, who are constantly like looking at, you know, the videos, et cetera, like that, you know, I really appreciate, you know, I want to give you all a big shout out, especially the OGs like Tito. And, you know, of course, you know, you have, uh, Latrell, Mikey tech, um, guys like Samsung, uh, there, you know, there's a few, a few other names out there that I haven't seen in a while there. You know, I know, I know everyone's busy, so I really appreciate that. But again, guys, this is Mike from B tech reviews. And again, we are just testing out the majority audio RS pro here. Again, I do have the affiliate link in the description down below. This microphone is actually only 59.99 uh, USD. And just to give you guys a few more uh, specifications about it, right? I'm going to go ahead and read off the Amazon website. It's USB plug and play. The RS Pro condenser microphone is plug and play. Just plug it in, use your computer audio settings. And, and again, we, you know, we can go ahead and screen share this really quick. I'll go ahead and screen share what I'm looking at here just so you guys can check it out. And again, you know, I did, this was a sponsored card on one of my other videos. So again, I'm not, you know, trying to like, you know, advertise them much more than what I already am. But I do want to just, you know, let give you guys the information as much as I can uh, over here on it. And it, it, it's pretty cool because it does come with a, uh, with a with a kit over here. So let's go to Chrome tab and let's go ahead and share this really quick. So so this is the microphone in general that I'm talking about, which is the RS Pro. It does come with a pop filter also. Um, Again, this does actually come with like a little carrying case. And again, it does come with that little pop filter uh, that goes over the mic. So as you can see here, so again, it's USB plug and play. And again, switch up your audio settings to get started. No software download required. So it is just a, you know, a plug and play microphone. Ideal for Zoom meetings, singing, podcasting, YouTube, gaming, vlogging, recording vocals, and using small, small as your ASMR. The ideal microphone kit for podcasters gaming. And again, for 60 bucks, I mean, it's really very inexpensive, especially for something that's plug and play. You know what I mean? So I think, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty good. And again, uh, this is a USB, uh, it's a unidirectional cardioid microphone. And again, I'm just reading off the, the Amazon description here there you, that you can read more off the website itself. Noise elimination microphone accessories included. The RS Pro again comes with the white screen. Uh, uh, it comes with the little kickstand here. So it is, that is there. Um, Multi-use black computer window compatible with Windows and MacBook. Uh, the RS Pro is ideal for external microphones for PCs and laptops, giving you an ungraded setup for Zoom. Again, it's just, you know, saying how good it is, yada, yada, yada. Uh, if you guys want to go to like microphone specifications, you know, here's some pictures of the microphone. And let's see if we got any, still no chats over here, but that's okay. Don't forget, guys, leave a chat in here. Uh, if you guys want to get involved and you have, you have questions about the microphone, again, I'm just talking about the microphone, but... Uh, we can talk about whatever else, you know, again, I won't be streaming too much longer, but, but the cool part about it is if you purchase one of these microphones, the, 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 the seller actually donates uh, a tree to it for every cell. So, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and again, they, they base it off love quality and sound the ideal microphone kit again. And some of these are really good pictures. I, you know, I really like the way this microphone set up. The shock mount actually looks relatively nice. Also, if you guys can see that here again, my setup doesn't look as nice as the one you see here, but it's almost as cool. Um, and again, compared to other microphones, like, I mean, you have other, you, you can get other inexpensive mic kits on Amazon, 
But again, uh, this you know this company, which is based out of uh, the United Kingdom, uh, they seem to be caring a lot about uh, you know the the people that you know look at their products, and of course they have Instagram handles, they have Twitter handles, and and very it's a very easy to use plug and play my unidirectional Cartier microphone. Again, the playback pattern is negative thirty six decibels up to negative two decibel sensitivity. And you know, desktop microphone stand, it's got third, it's got a 30 to 18,000 hertz response range, 16 bit at 48 kilohertz uh, sampling rate, and again, 96 decibel max SPL shock mounting storage. So, again, for, for, the, for those of you guys who wanted that, uh, let's go ahead and read some of the feedback here. Uh, and, and just because you know, I, I, I'm talking, uh, you know, let's, I mean, I'm going to read some unbiased comments here from, from sellers. Yo, what's up? Uh, um tito how's it going man the nerdiest podcast i missed your uh live stream just a little while ago man so again i'm just over here talking about microphone quality again i'm, I'm talking about this specific microphone let me go ahead and get this microphone out of, out of the shot here but this is the majority audio rs pro and again this is a microphone that was sent to me by uh, majority audio and uh for those if, if you're just curious you know i'm just going over the specs and whatnot but uh you know this microphone is actually relatively nice like i, I I'm, I'm enjoying the look i might i might end up taking this home and using it there when i'm doing my home stream podcast or if i ever decide to buy another laptop this might be the microphone that i use like when i decide to do mobile mobile setups you know what i mean as if i if i ever decide to like do mobile live streams here so so it says fantastic microphone out of the box minimum setup and it was already better than my previous microphone no external power or anything needed just usb and you're ready it looks fantastic feels like quality the included case is really nice, super useful when traveling, and the wind filter, yada, yada, yada. The microphone is very sensitive to background noise. You'll need to reduce your gain and sit slightly closer if you want to avoid a little bit of environmental noise. So luckily, you know, there's not a lot of environmental noise down here. Um, the mic is solid and well-made. The stand and pop shield that come with it eliminates the faff of getting other kits. I use it with Audacity at work for voiceovers on presentations. It had a warm, uh, true sound and pickup voice giving a studio yet uh, very real sound. I have a Blue Yeti, which I just don't like to carry upstairs to my other office. The Majority Pro doesn't have the other settings the Yeti has, but it doesn't need them. It's just a clear and just as warm. It's getting fewer low frequencies, but for what I'm doing, that's better. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, so someone put, so I purchased this months ago, didn't work, was gutted, o ordered another on sale and... My word for the price of, I think, what, 27 on sale, nearly flawless. The one issue I have is limited customizable settings. However, the 27 uh, quid, who I am to grumble at that, uh, I think that's their currency, 27 quid. Crips, uh, clear audio, perfect for streaming, gaming, and casting, recording vocals, instruments. So for the most part, you know, I'm just seeing, I'm seeing some positive feedback here. So that's, that's really good. You know, you always want positive feedback here. Uh, Sounds decent. Yeah. Thanks for joining in, by the way. Um, let me go ahead. Tobin Moyano. What's up, Tobin? How's it going, dog? Thanks for joining in on the chat today. I'm actually at my office today. Um, and I'm using I'm I'm live streaming and using the uh, microphone that was sent to me recently, the majority R RS Pro. So I'm just kind of reading off of Amazon what, what what's happening here with that specific um, you know, microphone or you know, whatever. Uh, just reading off some feedback. I'm doing pretty good today, man. I'm enjoying my day off today. So hopefully, you know, uh, maybe get some work done here. I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to produce any videos here, but I did have to bring, um, some equipment back since I went, uh, Tito already knows what's up, but I met Carlito about a week ago. So I had to take all of my equipment from here that I needed to use to record uh, the podcast or the, the stuff over there at the event that I did about a week ago. Sucks though, because my external mic ended up not working for that stream. So, Okay, that's good to hear that it sounds pretty good. Yeah, and just a little bit ago, I was comparing it to my other microphone, which I have here hanging from a, you know, from, you know, a, a control arm here. Uh, but again, uh, this is just a regular USB plug and play mic. If you're interested, Tobin Auto, link in the description down below, man. Shameless plug over here. But anyways... Yeah, man, I, I, you know, I, I wanted to just come out here and test it out. I don't, I didn't want to do this at home just because, you know, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I usually like to do my live streams from home more at nighttime. Here we go. Let's go ahead and move that a little bit to the side. And again, uh, I can take off the pop filter here, or the little, and that's what the microphone normally looks like here. Um, without that, um, hopefully you guys heard that. Let's hear some, some ASMR stuff over here. 
<laughs> yeah. Can you guys hear that? Okay. Anyways, um, again, I'm just messing around here. Nothing too crazy with the <laughs> with the content. You know what I mean? And it's it's relatively quiet in my office today. Not a lot of people out here working today. I guess. 12k again yeah so i didn't reach the 12k thousand mark over here on my youtube channel let's go ahead and check that out really quick i don't know what's going on with youtube's algorithm over here let's go ahead and uh take off the screen share there boom there you go um yeah i appreciate that man 12k i mean again that's another milestone again it was the second time i reached 12k unfortunately i hope i don't ever have to reach 12k again <laughs> But we'll see how that goes in the future. I, I really don't like the fact that I got gutted on some subscribers, but it is what it is, I guess. But uh, just enjoying my day off. You know, I was able to sleep in today. You know, work has been very, very uh, demanding and stressful lately just because, you know, it's uh, it, it has been kind of slow as of late. So uh, we have had to, uh, I, I, as you know, being a kind of a manager in my department, having to cut a lot of hours and and you know pick up pick up where those hours were cut and i actually end up having to like you know uh pretty much i just end up as someone that works the labor portion of it just because um you know i have to make up for for labor so i end up having to do like a lot of the i wouldn't say grunt work but i do have to do a lot of work there so i mean for the most part though it's not as bad it's not that bad i'm just kind of griping you know what i mean but uh yeah, that was strange. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, by the way. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. I can go ahead and uh, show you guys my where I lost the uh, where I lost my subscribers. Let me just go ahead and get into the YouTube Studio really quick to kind of avoid that. Let's go to analytics here, and we'll go to the last month. Of, we'll go to February. That's where I lost like all of my my subscribers i had a nasty dip of like neg negative 100 on one day it was just ugly though negative 109 um and i just don't know what's going on there but i mean again that just goes back to that just goes back to you know youtube's uh i guess killing off old uh old channels i guess or old subscribers which to me, I guess at this point, like subscriber count doesn't really matter anymore. What really matters is the view and the watch time on your videos. You know what I mean? Because you could have a million subscribers with zero views. You know what I mean? So I think what's important is the content you're putting out and that hopefully the people are enjoying the content that you're that you're putting out. So uh, again, hopefully we'll see where, where this channel continues to go uh, in 2021. You know what I mean? I haven't really, to me, to be honest, I haven't done a lot. Tobin, again, I'm glad you're out of the hospital and doing well, man. Uh, I'm going to have to do maybe do an overhaul here in my office, maybe move some stuff around just because, like, I'm not – I don't know. I'm just not liking the setup right now currently, but I'm, I might move my desk more this way towards the wall, and then um, we'll see. I don't know. I might try to get closer to that background. That way the background looks a little bit nicer than what it is right now. Again, I don't, I'm not a fan of the, the setup currently, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? I – it's not like I'm running on, I'm, it's, it's not like I'm live streaming on a Canon C like 200 over here, like a lot of other YouTubers. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's no problem. I, I just made a new video and it felt good to be back. Yeah. Yeah. I actually saw that video. Um, and it was pretty good. I mean, I can't complain. So, I mean, uh, we, we should all watch it here. Uh, since you're mentioning that, actually, let's go ahead and check that out. Tobin, let's see youtube.com. I want to, I want to watch your TCL 10 pro video right now, just because just since, since, since you mentioned it right now, we should go ahead and, uh, watch it live for the fans here. Although you might get, get a little bit of what editor are you using? I'm kind of curious, uh, to what editor you are using. Um, let me go ahead and find your channel really quick. Go ahead and do that really quick. You are on, all the way in the bottom just because your last name is with the letter or your your first name is with the letter T. So like, yeah, so let me go ahead and check this out real quick. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and share the feed over here really quick. Da Vinci Resolve. Oh yeah, I've heard uh, good, good and bad things about Da Vinci Resolve. I hear it's not as easy to use as people say. 
it's free though. So for people that, you know, want to, you know, use that, I feel like that's, that editor is more for color grading though, or at least that's what a lot, a lot of other YouTubers say. Um, but I mean, it is a video editor. You can use DaVinci to resolve DaVinci resolve. I, I personally have never used it. Um, I think I've tried downloading it one time, but I just never got around to installing it. So let's go ahead and screen share again. Here we go. Okay. Tobin Moyano. Moyano. Let's see what his takes on the TCL 10 Pro are. I might not be sharing the audio, so you're going to probably hear the audio. Would that be roll? Hey, what is up, guys? So we're back with another video. I am so mm -hmm. sad. I'm going to turn off my camera real quick, guys. In the past couple of weeks, some stuff has come up. And the best place to get updates when I'm not making videos and stuff is if you follow me on Twitter, so that's a good idea. But I'm so glad to be back. And in today's video, we're actually going to be reviewing my TCL 10 Pro, which is the phone that I've been using, which I guess is kind of good that I had. Let me know if you guys can hear this, by the way. Use this phone and really get to know it and really get my thoughts thought out about what I think about it. So. Um, yeah, let's get on to the video and welcome to my review of the TCL 10 Pro. Check out that hair, by the way. So we're going to be going over some basic things inside of this video, like the design, the build, the software, the camera, and the price. So basically, we're going to be going over, is it worth buying, is the software experience good, and... Basically, all the basic things that I'll do is just... I ended up giving my TCL 10 Pro to my dad. ...and the price. So first, let's go over some basic specs about the device. Um, it is a 128-gigabyte device. It does have 6 Speakers are yeah, sorry. I just realized that I accidentally to... muted the audio. And with the TCL <laughs> My bad. Pro, we are only getting a speaker at the bottom of the device right here. We do have a speaker at the top, but this speaker is only for on the earphone talking. So, yes, we are only getting a stereo speaker at the bottom. And for talking, well, take a listen. This one right here, which is actually basically the lower end model of the TCL 10 Pro. It's not that bad, but when it comes to music... Man, Tobin, you need a 10, I mean, brother. It's it's just not really going to be like a nice experience. You're probably going to want to have headphones on your device when you're listening to music. But which is pretty cool is we do have a headphone jack. Yeah, sorry, I know it cut out. TCL 10 Pro. So if you don't want to use that up to four Bluetooth compatibility devices at the same time, you can use the headphone jack included on the smartphone, which is a very nice feature. I'm glad that 
we still have some phone companies who are including this inside. It's a good feature. I like how they sent you the yes, green one. It is not the best speakers, but at least the screen's isn't very nice. Jack, and we always have that Bluetooth compatibility, which is great. Basically, with just the design of the buttons and everything, everything's really clicky. I mean, and now that you mention that, most cell like phone speakers are not key. great to begin with. Everything's so. really sturdy feeling. We have our smart key on the side, which is programmable to different settings. You could do that in the settings. You can program. You know what? Hold on. Let's stop camera. this stream really you quick. Open up an app. Let's stop this stream. Or hold down for Google Assistant. So that's a nice feature. Okay, hold on. I, I am going to stop that only because I need to just kind of share. Let's do this again. Hold on. YouTube.com. We'll kind of skip ahead. It's because I need to share the audio, and I'm not, I'm not sharing the audio. That's why. So let's go ahead and screen share again. We'll include audio this time. There we go. Okay. YouTube.com. Let's check that out. Hopefully it's the right one. Uh, I think that's the right one. Okay, there you go. Again, we'll go back to Tobin's channel over here. And again, we'll just try to play whatever was left over there. Here we go. Let's go to home. Oh, wait. No, I don't want to watch. <laughs> I don't want to watch my own live stream. My bad. Okay, hold on. Library. There you go. Nice, nice feature to have a programmable, programmable AI, AI button. There you go. The phone, but, but everything, everything feels really strong, strong and sturdy. It's Sorry, the internet here looks a little crappy. Like just, just flimsy or anything. Everything, everything feels very, very intact. intact. And everything feels very, very strong and nice, nice and sturdy. So that's a very good plus. TCL Pro. Yeah. Don't forget to smash and subscribe uh, to uh, Tobin's channel over there, by the way. Smash that like button. Fast charging with TCL. Um, and besides the box, we do have a fast charging brick. And USB type Yeah, you'll get better with your lighting over time. my phone up to about 100% in an hour and up to 50% in 30 minutes, which is nice. So it's good that we have a fast charging situation going on. Might be because I have different audio running in the background. Hold on. We didn't see with the TCL 10L, but we have it with the TCL 10 Pro, and that is a very nice upgrade for. Such Let me know if that's a, better. Um, pretty mid-range smartphone. Also have a 4,500 milliamp battery, and this battery has got me through multiple days. I have basically just don't use the always on display because that thing will know, kill your I battery. I, I, I remember using the always on display with that, but the battery is great on that phone. And it was still at Let me know if that sounds better, Tobin. And that was, was, was this is when I, I was you guys are still getting echo and tweeting and doing a bunch of social media and stuff like that. And it's still held up through the day. So typically ending a day with about 30, 40% if you're going to use pretty heavy usage. If you're going to do some pretty heavy gaming, you're probably going to end the day with like 20%. But it will definitely get you through a full day with the 4,500. That's understandable, average. Tobin. I'm so just messing with you on the, on the whole 10 thing, bro. <laughs> of this price. But let's move on to the software experience as... That's one of the things that kind of turns downhill when you spend money on a phone like this. I mean, we have Android. 10. I was going to say that audio sounds very familiar. It sounds like you're using it from a, a Marquette or MKBHD video. Promised that we're getting Android 11, but I haven't seen any updates come through at all, but we should be at least get at least two years or three years of security updates, but with a major software update, at least- Yeah, I'm very surprised. They did promise Android that it was gonna get an Android 11 update coming. and it didn't happen. I hope it comes soon, but I haven't seen anything with it. Uh, any updates come, um, I haven't seen anything pop up. But what's good is we aren't running well, I don't know. It depends <laughs> on your your preference. We aren't running a I'm gonna start stealing of some of his music also. TCL UI kind of built Yeah, you gotta be careful TCL because a lot of those a lot of that music skin. that he uses he and actually pays for, so or he will uh, nice things to he will get people again, to make the music for him, so you have to be Android careful on the copyright claims. So you aren't going to get that like really, really stock Android experience like for example, you cannot use a launcher with navigation controls. You're going to have to use buttons. Um, I think that's just because we have an early Android 10 
um, software on this phone, but we aren't running a stock Android um, version. We have a TCL UI and it's, it's nice. It's flush. It's good looking. It's well polished. It's just not that same stock Android experience that you're going to get on a pixel device or on. Yeah. Their UI is not horrible phones. though. And I mean, I've, I've price, used worse UIs. We're going to go for like the really good updates and really that stock B-roll. experience. Maybe like a pixel 4a would be a good competitor. It would definitely be a little well, bit. Well, I mean, he has dead phone, mouse making him music, but, man. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to get that, I think that would probably be a good experience for you if you wanted to have that really good stock Android experience built into your phone. And then with the UI, we do have some extra features, which is cool, like our smart button on the side. I have it programmed. Yeah, the smart key feature, I never really use that much. For Google Assistant. And that's what I have programmed. We also have some extra features like an always on display which is um, built in with the AMOLED display, which is very nice. Um, There's some customization options. And then also if you pick up TCL smart cover case, they have some options with the UI built in for um, having it display your notifications and always on display. So there's some extra features built in, which is very nice with the TCL UI. But again, we aren't getting that stock Android experience. Okay, guys, let's move on to the camera. Hey, what's up, Daily Second Mike? Phone, How's it going, man? There's a lot packed into We're over here just watching Tobin's I mean, review on the TCL 10 Pro. Looking at it. We have a quad camera setup on the TCL 10 Pro. Yeah, that was one of my the better qualities so, of the phone. That's a pretty good... Um, I mean, that's really appealing to the eye. But is it actually worth it? Well, let's find out. I like your case, by the way. My, my phone didn't come with a case like that. Main shooter, a 16 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel, um, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 24 megapixel teardrop selfie camera design. So, with my experience, the camera is actually really great. Pictures in good lighting bring out really good detail. And of course, I'm going to, there's some pictures on the screen that you're going to see right now taken on the TCL 10 Pro. Um, they, Ooh, really Sony. I like to bash on Sony the cameras. The complaints that I have with the camera is you have to see a little bit of an exposure, overexposure of colors. At some point, colors become a little bit brighter than they actually are. Like some green, yeah. look really green compared to what they actually are looking like. So we have a little bit more of a contrast exposure, overexposure of contrast. A lot of Samsung phones Pro, do that though. Way they way overexpose their photos and, so and video. About. You know what I mean? Um, with the selfies, it really. Oh, so the TCL actually sells the like case. I think I bought a case for my dad for like. 10 or 15 bucks on Amazon. Although I'm sure that TCL case is probably better quality. Pretty, pretty decent and bring out actually a lot of detail. Like I've had some pictures where I've seen like really little hairs. Like you, you zoom in, like it really brings out the detail. And that's something that I think we see. Surprise Latrell's not on right now. Megapixel. Um, of course it is shooting in a 24, but there's a high An A71 5G for 200 or best offer. <laughs> It's actually not bad in A71. The raw 64 megapixel photo, which is nice. And then, of course, for video, the selfie quality of the video, as you can tell, it's not that clear. It's actually not showing my lights as much as it doesn't look that bad. Would, but this is the quality. Considering the lighting, I think. Camera, which is the tear dot design, so it's low. Surprised it's not washing out the background more than um, what it is. This is the quality of it. This is the mic facing the selfie. So this is recording from the selfie and you can't record 4k. You can only record 1080p with the selfie camera. <laughs> the this, official product feel is 1080p at 30 frames per second on the front facing camera. So tell me what you think about the sound and tell me what you think about everything. This is me. This is my setup right here. I'll put you guys in the position of my main camera, just like that. And I'm holding the phone, facing it at me. And not bad, sir. Phone. Not bad. What's up, Kesso Gaming? Thanks for joining in on the chat. Jump over to 4K in just a second. Guys, we're currently recording at 4K, 30 frames per second on the TCL 10 Pro. Um, one mention that I do want to mention that um, I also said in the TCL 10L review is how good the like focus is from close up to like 
the close up, the autofocus is just so good. So tell me what you guys think about. I really the like its ibis also, where it doesn't you you don't see like camera shake or rattle when you when you're walking like around it. or moving. It's very stable. Course, it looks a little weird right now. Very good stabilization. Light, but if we'll go over to something a little bit close like this. You guys can go ahead and look at the quality there. You can see all the little dust parts on my Tobin, you are so a red-headed kid. In 4K, 30 frames per second on the TCL 10 Pro. But this is what it looks like in 4K. So I guess for camera, you get a lot packed in because you have the quad camera set up, like the macro features and all of that. And it's not basically the best. I mean, like, I would probably say that a Pixel 4a or a Pixel device can have a better camera. And the Pixel 4 is a little bit cheaper than this phone. Oh, so I love really my 4a. It's on where you want to come in. And the only complaint is that kind of oversaturation of color, over contrast of color. But overall, we are getting a pretty decent camera setup, especially for this mid range. Yeah, for the most part, you're, you're so very right not on that. So, not much complaints with the camera, only that oversaturation. But we should go ahead and move on to this beautiful 6.5 inch AMOLED display. Yep. I'm not a fan of the curved display, but I mean, it is what it is. So the display is a curved display, 6.5 inches AMOLED. So we're going to get a bunch of different features like the always on display packed in with the TCL UI. Um, overall, we do have pretty good bezel size. We are not having a big up bezel on my daily side? Pretty much almost an edge edge display. I would probably say oh yeah, the 4A is amazing, Tobin. I have it it's sitting back here. I've been actually using it to shoot some of the videos that I've been taking on the YouTube channel. We are getting that teardrop notch only. So we have this good kind of very good real estate and we have just the teardrop notch. I mean, I'm not that big fan of the teardrop. I guess it's it, it, I guess it's better than it a could be worse because it's not just in the middle of your display. It could be um, worse, to be honest. The content is kind of hard because you're not going to have that zoomed in mode. Because if you zoom in, like on YouTube, if you zoom into a full screen display um, content preference or watching preference, you kind of lose some of your video. So you, I usually like to watch it in the non fit display mode. But usually, usually playing, playing games, games and stuff is very easy, easy. and we do we have, have a 6.5 inch display, so we have a pretty big display. display. When it comes when to the curved display, display yes, yes, of course, I have had my hand accidentally hitting apps, apps, apps or opening buttons, buttons or pressing, yep. pressing, pressing different things, things on, on my display. display. I have had that accidentally happening, but... When you, when you gain, gain something, something, you lose something. So, so you gain this premium feel of the curved display, but you can use that corner. When, when you are you using the case, case though, it definitely minimalizes that chance of happening um, because we do have more of like a thicker border. So mm -hmm. when I'm using my TCL Smart um, case, it, it definitely <laughs> minimalizes the <laughs> nice, nice when reaching. <laughs> and also, TCL has a built-in one-handed mode, which is great, especially if you're using what she said. a huge display. So that's a good feature, especially if you have something in your hand like a coffee. You could just toggle that straight from the notification and control center. So that's a nice touch. But let's move on to one of the biggest things about the phone, which is the price. So as we know, this phone is $449. So they sell this close to $500. What's up, Michael Luke? Which isn't quite the price of a Pixel or a very high flagship, even though our dirt quality is basically flagship status. And it's a little bit more expensive than a Pixel 4 a if I had to choose Pixel 4a over the TCL 10 Pro, yes, I would. Why? Because I'm going to get continuous updates of software, promised updates that I know will be fulfilled by Google, and I'll be able to get probably a better camera and just more of that stock Android experience. But if you, however, if you want to pay a little bit more to get some extra features and more of a premium flagship curved display and good looking design, then, then you will want to pay up for this. Of course, yep. we have 128 gigabytes of storage, which is nice, um, but we can expand it up to, I'm pretty sure, 256 gigabytes via SD card slot on the bottom of the phone. 
Yep. It is not, not a dual, dual um, um, uh, it isn't it is a dual, dual um, SIM card, card. you can only do one, one and it's not a 5G phone, phone. this is only a 4G LTE phone. So, so Snapdragon, Snapdragon 675, 6 gigabytes of RAM, it gets the job done. gigabytes of internal storage, and a 6.5 inch display. I mean, I mean for the price, price it's, it's a well-rounded well phone, especially, especially if you're going to get a build quality like this, and overall just the feel is just... You gotta, you gotta love it. it. It's definitely yeah. a thousand dollar phone status. From the From frosted, frosted back to the, to the nice, nice metal, metal display, display, nice metal, metal and build inside. And yeah, sorry, it's because I'm sharing the, the screen so audio and nice. I don't have any headphones right now, so I'm just using the computer audio right now. In display fingerprint, let me lower the volume. Lock, so everything you guys can. works great. Um, the fingerprint isn't the best. We definitely can see better display fingerprints. Yeah, the in display fingerprint sensor support, sucks really bad. Like that. But it is pretty fast. And you do have it's that gotten better with the updates. Using face unlock, which is great because face unlock is really fast on these phones. Then of course you have your standard options like pin, pattern, and password, all kinds of stuff like that. So to wrap up the whoop, video, whoop, I'm getting more subs from Mr. Daily Tech Mike. If you want to get a solid device that looks definitely like a thousand dollar smartphone and might impress your friends with how many cameras are on the back, then I would go for the TCL 10. Flexing, flexing on those I'm cameras going to over here. I'm my daily driver for at least probably a year or more until I pick up some other phones to test. And I think I'll enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the TCL 10 Pro. And I hope to see you in my next video soon. Thanks for watching. Very like solid video, by the way. The like video. smash. Leave a like if you want to. Also, comment down below what you think about this phone and ask me some questions. Follow me on Twitter where you can compete in some of my polls and get daily updates on videos and what I'm just doing. So go follow me at Tomoyano on Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you on the next one. Peace out. Very solid, man, but you gotta get you gotta kill those copyright strikes. So uh, my only recommendation to you on that to avoid that is uh, try to download the free uh, the free copyright free music on YouTube, man. Uh, there's a big there's a big uh, playlist of that. Uh, if not, if you can afford to pay for services like Epidemic Sounds, there's actually a lot of uh, non-copyrighted music out there. Epidemic Sound has a very good sound library, although, again, you have to pay a subscription fee about like $10 or $15 a month. And um, other than that, though, I mean, great, great video. Again, guys, don't forget to uh, check out his channel, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and just showcase it here again. He's got 141 subscribers. Let's go ahead and get him to 200. I want to see him get to 200 before summer. Um, definitely a up and rising young tech channel, of course, right? You know, definitely, I think this guy can go full time before he's even 20 years old. You know, if he, if he continues to kill it, like in the videos that he's doing, video quality is, is amazing. You know, his B roll is getting a lot better. Um, definitely better than mine. I can tell you that much. I want to give you feedback there, man. You, you have a very solid, a way of explaining things in your videos and, and it's, and I love your bullet points. You know, you, you, you stay on topic as far as, what you're talking about. So that's amazing that you do that, man. I, I really appreciate that. You know, a lot of people tend to kind of steer away from what they're talking about at times. I, I know I tend to do that. So thanks again for doing that, man. And again, guys, you know, he's a, he's a young tech YouTuber who again is, uh, you know, trying to get big, you know, hopefully, uh, he can definitely, I mean, he, TCL has already sent him several products like the, the wireless earbuds, you know what I mean? And of course he's, you know, doing what he can with the money that he has and, you know, purchase whatever purchases he can make, like the Sony camera that he was making the video on, uh, longest battery ever on it, like a Chromebook, et cetera, like that, you know, little things like that, you know, he's doing what he can with what he has, you know what I mean? As a kid, you know what I mean? Cause it, you know, I'm sure, you know, a lot of parents out there are really not as supportive as they can be when it comes to people and their YouTube channel. I'm not saying that that's the case for him, but the fact that, you know, he's doing it, you know what I mean? 141 subscribers. That's pretty amazing. Let's see. I, I try not to use a, a lot of non-copyrighted music and something cool for this. Video. Yeah, it was something cool, man. But it like, if you ever want to dis decide to monetize this video later on, you won't be able to because of the copyrighted music. So just be careful on that, man. Uh, everyone subscribe to BTech Reviews. Thanks again for that shout out, man. I really appreciate that as well. Uh, again, I just barely hit 12K again, and he's already 
uh, you know, shouting out some other channels here, like I Justine. Although I don't, I don't think I Justine needs help with. I, and I really thought she had more than six million subs. And I thought she was one of the top tech YouTubers out there, or at least the top. She is probably the top female tech reviewer out there in, in like ever, or at least not right, right now. I know there's other female tech reviewers out there that probably have over a million. Maxwell Chan and of course Techs R Us, which they have over a thousand subs already. I think that's a that's another channel that should be uh, notified. But again, don't forget to follow him on Instagram and twitter as well and of course you know he has all his information there guys so again big shout out to him uh daily tech mike threw out a super chat over here so again really appreciate that mr daily tech mike over here thank you again and again i rarely do you guys know i rarely do live streams from the studio over here so again i am uh the point for this video was for me to um you know showcase this microphone over here which i'm sure you guys saw the the title and description of this so again this microphone again majority audio rs pro is a nice condenser USB microphone that's plug and play. And for the most part, it is very nice. Let's see. Michael Loke says, my wife is doing okay chron uh, with chronic pre-existing conditions. So we have good days and bad days. Oh, that's, 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 I mean, that's things to hear, man. But hopefully uh, you guys get more good days than bad days, Mr. Michael Loke. So hopefully everything's okay there. Uh, again, shout out to uh, Daily Tech Mike for the $3 super chat here. And Tobin saying, I will always try to promote good tech YouTube channels and B Tech Reviews is a good channel. Thanks. I really appreciate that, man. Again, I've been trying to get better, but, you know, again, you know, the tech space on YouTube is very hard niche to, to stay on and to be popular on, to be honest. I really don't. I, I, I would be happy with those 20K subs, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the subscriber count I have. And again, as long as the content that I'm putting out is something that people want to watch, that's something that, you know, I really want to stay confined in you know i get a lot of people saying well stay try to stay within your niche etc like that and for the most part i try to but that's why i've been making other youtube channels that for my other passions or my other hobbies like automotive which again that goes back to toyota tech over there which i'm i almost have 50 subscribers on toyota tech so i'm very i'm very proud of that because i just started the channel maybe like a couple months back and then, of course, Crypto Tech, which is another YouTube channel that I started as well, which is talking about financing and investing uh, stock market, the stock market. And, of course, uh, you know, things like uh, cryptocurrencies, which I hope you guys are if you guys are interested in, you can check those other channels out as well. You know what I mean? I definitely want to uh, kind of expand and do more on the YouTube scene. But again, for now, you know, I'm, you know, I'm doing what I can here on uh, B -Tech, the B Tech side. And hopefully I can use this channel uh, to continue to grow this channel, but also use this channel to, to kind of, you know, grow my other channels as well. So I want to just, you know, keep you guys in the loop there as far as, you know, that goes. So I really appreciate that. Let's see. Yeah. What happens are people are slacking at subscribing. How are you not at 20 K? I honestly don't know. Excuse me. I honestly don't know why I'm not at 20 K yet. You know, again, it's very slow. YouTube's, uh, you know, I guess algorithm is not, uh, getting there and of course a lot of my videos are actually viewed by search it, because it's searchable content so people are finding these videos because they're searching for it on youtube and not because they're subscribed to me because legit out of the twelve thousand that are you know subscribed to me only about two percent two almost three percent of the people that are actually subscribed to me are actually watching my videos or actually viewing the videos so that's not a very high subscribe rate i wish that was higher i, I wish i can get that to at least five five to 10% channel engagement for people that are still subscribed to my channel. But again, I got to give you guys a shout out. So Tobin, my daily side, daily tech, Mike, um, Michael Loke, who, you know, again, I know Michael Loke, you've discovered me from other people's channels. And I, again, I hope you uh, enjoy the content that I do put out. You know, again, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying that you do or do you don't, you know what I mean? Again, obviously you're watching the video. So I'm hoping that you, that you do. And Daily Tech Mike with another super chat. So again, thank you very much. You must have gotten that stimmy check, man. I am still waiting on my stimulus check over here. That's for sure. I, I have not gotten it yet. Um, I got my income tax the first week or so that they started throwing out income tax money. So I, I'm still waiting for that stimulus check, although I'm not depending on it right now. Again, uh, you know, I got I got a little bit of that sponsorship money on my, my iPhone 12 mini review video. So I'm going to use that, hopefully put that to good use. Let's see. You could do like Gene Jr. Use use Haps TV as a platform to live stream YouTube. Your viewer subscriber base will grow fast. I've never heard of Haps TV. I mean, I use StreamYard to you know get everything going over here. Obviously, I've never heard of Haps TV though. That might be something I have to look into. I might have to ask him or get some information on his end. 
again, you know, I'm not, you know, it, advertising the channel uh, on other platforms can be, can be helpful, but it also can hurt the channel also because there's a lot of haters out there as well. Uh, I, you know, I really wish my channel just kind of grew organically. You know, I really wish the algorithm kind of picked it up and just, you know, ran away with the views and whatnot, but sometimes that's not the case. My daily site says I need to do a channel, but I am scared. So again, guys, um, just keep at it. You know, don't be scared to put your content out there and just to, you know, put out videos, etc., like that. So again, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream here uh, because I'm expecting a company here in just a bit. But again, and I do need to head out. But again, guys, uh, thank you all for joining in on the live stream today. I really appreciate it. Daily Tech Mike, again, thanks for the shout outs. Tobin Mayano, keep killing it on the YouTube Again, keep putting out content. And of course, everybody, if you guys ever want to reach out to me and have questions as far as, you know, being a YouTuber and whatnot, check out. Uh, don't forget to hit me up on Twitter. I have a Twitter account, so you can send me a personal DM there. I might not answer immediately because I, I do have a full-time job and a lot of the times I'm at work and I'm not looking at my phone. Uh, but for the most part, you know, I really enjoy that. So again, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Peace out. Okay.